Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to generate temporary URL for any disk using Laravel. As you can see here, I am using local as my default disk in my project. And here in my method, I define this method to temporary or to generate a temporary URL for this image here, right, in my storage, this one. And this file will be valid for maybe 10 seconds, right? Here is my endpoint URL and it will generate your error. But if we go here and refresh, it busts an error, right? The drive doesn't support because if we go here to Laravel documentation, to use this temporary URL method is available for S3 only if you want to use it directly. But Laravel here defines a way to define your temporary URL for any disk you want, right? So the solution is easy. Go to any service provider here, app service provider, and we will define our method like that. Here our disk you want to create temporary URL for and using this method build temporary URL using a take closure, right? With the path of file and expiration, when will it be expired? And also the extra options you want. And using URL temporary signed root here in this documentation, right? This method here, it generates a temporary URL and the first parameter is the name of root you want to direct or redirect. For example, here I will pass the pass of URL, right? And after passing this URL, it will go to download root. So we need to define another root also. And also we must pass the expiration of the URL. And then we may have extra operations or options here. As you can see, we also passed the pass here, right? So back here to our web again. And I defined another method called download inside our file control controller. And here I am downloading the file, right? So back again. And here is our web, our root name here. Let me show it quickly. App service provider, right? Here is our root, root name download. I'm using it here and downloading the file inside the controller from this data. Now let's generate our URL back and refresh from this endpoint, by the way, from this function, get, you, get URL back here and refresh. Now it works. If you notice here, we have expire query parameter, we have path of the image, we have also signature and so on, right? And this file or this URL is valid for 10 seconds. So back it here, copy, paste, and we have an error. So we must pass the path of file to download. So here our request, query, path, this part, right? Or the file name, this part here, back and refresh again, and it's downloaded. Open it, the same image, right? But if you notice here, the time has expired more than 10 seconds. Let's show it quickly here in our code and I will say generate a URL and it will expire after two seconds or even one second, right? Back generate and copy the URL, open it again and it will continue working. So how to validate the signature? We can use it easy here in our method. We will say a port F, right? Request validate or valid has valid signature, right? If, if it's not valid, then say 404. Back again here, refresh. Now we have 404 because it expires after one second. Here's quickly how to set your custom temporary for any disk you want on Laravel. If you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you in next videos.